Welcome back to Dies Irae. Last time we walked Kazumi home, or started that at least. Um, and for some reason we came to this you think I'm an idiot just something, aren't you? conversation part. And um, well, I want to know the answer to that. So let's continue. Was she psychic or something? Look, just leave this to the public officials. Why should a female student have to go to the extra extra mile? Mm -hmm. Don't you know it's because I'm a champion of justice? Good for her. I've suspected as much for a while, but you're not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? Huh. Excuse me, now that was rude even for you. Anyway, keep that sense of justice of yours in moderation, okay? I didn't know what sort of person the murderer was, but it was probably safe to say that he was out of his mind if he was going around decapitating people. The average person would almost certainly struggle to maintain their cool when confronted. When confronting a psychopath like that. ちまみでの狂気持ってニヤニヤ笑って多分規制上げながら襲いかかってくるやつ相手にお前の剣道がちゃんとはっきりできるかどうかは微妙だぞ自信あるのか? <laughs> I'm kinda doubtful you could manage to fall off your kendo techniques against a opponent that comes lunging at you with a bloody knife and a creepy smile. What about you? どうだろうね <laughs> Hmm, good question. Yeah, I guess that might be kind of scary. I know, right? Most people have never had to fight to, for their lives, so it would be only natural to freeze up when thrust into a situation like that. Only experience or natural predis predisposition for this sort of thing could help you there. Well... Mm, if you're actually attacked by a weapon and not surprised, you might be able to block the first attack because of adrenaline and such. But if only if you're an experienced fighter <laughs> or your opponent just too dumb. But yeah, you might be able. So, but if you <laughs> if you freeze. Up because you're creeped out, then yeah, well, just get hit. I'd be done with it. I'm sorry, that, that sounds wrong, but <laughs> that's probably what's going to happen. Not that being experienced with, with or possessing a gift for life and death struggles would be a good thing, mind you. <laughs> Anyway, just try not to play the hero, alright? If you're co gonna keep up your practicing, I'll stay with you. No. Oh gosh, you're actually worried. Yeah, right, I know. Of course I am, I'm seriously scared about going home alone. Yeah, Oh boy, I see. So that's your angle. Well, glad to see you're being honest, at least. But still... A ghost, okay. Seems like you've taken big steps back to being your old self again. When you first got put into the hospital, you were almost like a ghost or something. He was half beaten to death. What do you expect, Kazumi? So, Kazumi smiled softly, expression feeling somehow mature. I won't. Next time something happens, be sure you tell me about it, okay? Don't leave me in the dark and pull reckless stunts like you did last time, you hear? Promise me. She stuck out a pinky. Come on. Oh my. Oh, 
What are you, my mother? It's nothing like that at all. You want me to protect you, right? Right. I wonder if it might not be better to just go along with her. I'll see what I can do. Hmm, good enough. Oh god. Kazumi grabbed my hand and forcibly intertwined our pinkies. Never thought I'd be engaged in a pinky swear at this age. Next time something happens, be sure you tell me about it. I didn't want more stuff that I could and felt that I felt uncomfortable uncomfortable thing talking about to happen myself. Uh, I was more than over that sort of thing. Unfortunately, I always seem to have bad luck keeping those sorts of promises. So this pinky swear instead seemed ominous to me, like it was a portent of some misfortune to come. I couldn't shake that feeling for the rest of the night. After eating dinner, I headed straight to bed and as soon as I fell asleep, it began. The crimson dream of the guillotine. I knew it. Indeed, the night was red. A beast lurked in the city. Most beasts were of a nocturnal nature, so it was only natural the hunting of this one took place during the night. And thus, the, dr uh, the night was stained crimson. With four fountains of blood I can't read. With dripping pieces of meat. With shattered bones. With the fading embers of life. Thus, the beast satisfied its hunger. Slate. Its thirst in an endless cycle of limitless gluttony. It continued devouring its prey. However, there were also those that hunted such beasts. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to describe this kind of phenomen phenomenon as mutual predation instead. They're here. A beast in the form of a young woman spoke, a grim expression on her face. She was one of the hunters, but she was fundamentally no different from her prey. Indeed, they were one and same. They both have become beasts through the same obscene method and took to the hunt for the same reasons. Two beasts of the same forest. If there was a difference to be found between them, it was her youth. But in this case, youth did not equate to inexperience. She had killed far more than the older beast before her. Thus, she had no intention of pursuing her prey at the current time. For now, she would simply step back and observe the situation, waiting for her prey to build experience and mature. She yearned for the day her prey's fang would grow sharp enough that she could no longer manage them. Let it be said that she was not overestimating her own strength. This was her earnest desire. The hunt would be but a mere farce if her prey was feeble enough to fall to her alone. After all, every one of the hunters was a monster forged in the flames of hell. Her prey needed to be strong enough to hold its crown against all of them together. Ma. Well, it doesn't seem likely, unfortunately. Her words earlier did not speak of her prey's survival. Her comrades, the hunters, had arrived instead. And thus, she understood. The odds of the prey managing to reach their level were so low that they might as well have been zero. There was no one to be seen in the area. Her comrades hadn't made her, their presence known through sight or sound, but she could tell them there. Or could feel them there. Shut up, dogs. Not mine, some other ones. Even if one is asleep, he or she is likely to awaken if several people enter the room simply from sensing their presence. This was a similar phenomenon. The room was what Suvahara City suddenly felt very cramped. If we pos pause, pose it? What? another word. The de density of a normal person's existence was a one, and the density of the two who had just arrived was more than a thousand. There could be no doubt that these monsters had devoured more than one hundred and one thousand human souls. These were man-eaters, far beyond the level of any mere serial killer. 
they could no longer be called human in any sense of the word. Ah, but this was perhaps to be expected. It meant only that they had come prepared. They had made effective use of the past sixty years, it would seem. She had no trouble telling exactly who had arrived. Who could forget such tainted, such utterly abominable souls, souls as theirs? God. Before the word, words to these two are the absolute worst could pass from her lips, the girl remembered that the descriptor the absolute worst applied to all of them just the same and held her tongue. Why, anyway, welcome to Shambhala. Shambhala, whatever. お待ちしていましたよ、お二人とも。Welcome. I've been awaiting you to. A man grabbed in a pri gaped in a priest's cassock, offered his greetings. 本当にお久しぶりです。ベイ中尉にマレウス順尉。月並みですが、相変わらずのようですね。First Lieutenant Bay, Variant Officer Mellois. It truly has been a long time. You haven't changed at all. A common expression, yet true nonetheless. His voice was calm, even comforting. In co contrast, the two beings received his greetings, emitted a presence that could only be li likened to that of a natural disaster. The sick stench of blood hung in the air. The pungent aroma of gunpowder filled the area. The entire world around them reeked with the rotten stench of murder. These were the orders of madness. These were the orders of calamity. These were the orders... <laughs> orders? Of, of demons. The beings gathered atop this bridge were, without exception, utterly removed from the constraints of normalcy. <laughs> One of the two guests, a young man, sneered at the priest's words. <laughs> so, what you're really saying is that we haven't improved at all since last time, eh, Christoph? You'd better watch your tongue or you're gonna end up dead in the ditch, you bastard. Mm, red eyes. Mm. The man's language could hardly be, be called refined, but she, he spoke with a grin. The priest returned his own faint smile. The man's skin was fair, too fair to the point of being inhumanly pale, as if he, had, he was cut from wax. However, he did not offer give off an aura of weakness or sickliness. Far from it, he possessed a certain limber poise, almost reminiscent of a Python or other great reptile. In contrast, Ooh. A pleasure to see you, Father Christoph. You really haven't changed a bit, have you? You must have been slacking. The sweet voice that resonated next belongs to a young woman, every bit as charming as her voice would suggest. She looked completely unfit to this sinister place. In that sense, she could have been sad to, have, to give off the strongest impression of any of the creatures gathered atop the bridge. She served as an excellent example of the old adage that every rose had its thorns. I was for a long time a stranger. I was a little bit of a stranger. I was a little bit of a stranger. I was a little bit of All right, I'm back. Um, yeah, I had to count. And oh, a lot happened in between the two recordings of this part. Uh, I hope I don't get interrupted this time. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. Just so you know, don't wonder, because it is, after all, probably a very hard cut and um, very noticeable, so I just wanted to tell you about that. 
<sighs> well, yeah, well, work happened. I'm stressed out, so if I react, overreact, that's that's the course. But I have to record something for tomorrow. Well, Sunday, so today for you. And um, yeah, so yeah, here we are. Hell no, we've known you long enough. Enough with the four buttons. Well, I'm sure that I'm going to be able to get the four buttons. I'm going to be able to get the four buttons. I'm going to be able to get the four buttons. I'm going to be able to get the four buttons. I'm going to be able to get the four buttons. I'm going to be able to get the four Okay. Leon had Zon Kin Babylon and two Balkan, including the two of you, that makes six. I myself will not move for another four or five days. Naze. Why? Toshiori ga deshabaruna to Okoraleta no desio. I've been told that the elderly should mind their own business, you see. Ah. Huh? The man's pale visage twisted in confusion. The girl, on the other hand, seemed to understand that the priest had what the priest had meant. Christoph, you just said Leon Hart, didn't you? That's the Valkyrian Nukebankas. Christoph, you mentioned Leon Hart, Did, didn't you? Is she the replacement for Valkyria? Eh, you have the same experience, right? That son, how is it? Yes, you two are acquainted with her already, right? She has become quite the force to be reckoned with. Oh? That right? The two of them broke out into broad smokes. Fascinating. Most fascinating. A force to be reckoned with, then by all means. Listen, you two. The priest, perhaps sensing the building uneasy atmosphere, continued without an, with an authoritative tone. I understand, but I can't build a temple at the moment. That's why I'm going to repeat it 11 What happened 11 years ago? I am certain you are already, you're already well aware of this, but we cannot allow for any vacancies on the obsidian table. Not unless we desire a repeat of eleven years ago, that is. Tato e Shinzan demo, Mijuku mono demo, Kiro i retto de arotomo. Kanojo no sonzae wa iru no desu yo. Wakarimasu ne? She may be a novice, a green horn, an inferior yellow monkey, yes. But her existence is a necessity, are we clear on that? Eh, so de wa mo. Wakatte ru wa yo tozen janai. Aikawara ju shinpai shon ne. Why, yes, of course, why wouldn't we be always such a warrior, aren't you? We girls need to watch out for each other, so why don't you just leave her to me? Hmm? Spinner? Spinner? <laughs> Okay, don't worry about her. You got no time to be looking after her after yourself, right? So this just leaves Spinner. When's he coming? Spinner uh, means spider. Zonenkind means sun child. By the way, I forgot to translate that. Kare wa mou shibaraku kakaru desho. Watashi ga shoushou shirabe mono wo tanonda no de ne. He will probably take a bit longer. I sent him to look into something. Oh, what is it? Now I'm curious. Hey, Malius. Hey, Malius. Hey,マリウス。言ったろ。別にいいじゃねえか。大工殿が腹黒いことやっててくれりゃ、こっちもいろいろ手間が省ける。俺らは掃除をしてればいいのさ。didn't you hear me? Don't worry about it. Let him take care of the dirty work. Uh, it'll save us the trouble. All we've got to do is take out the trash. 
メルクリウスのクソ野郎が代理をよこしているんじゃなかったかしら Taking out the trash. Don't you mean hunting? The mustard mercurius was supposed to be sending in an in substitute, wasn't he? Jun. Fukushio Kakani Taisu, Fukena Monoiwa, Amarikanshin Shimasene. Warrant Officer Malios, I cannot say I approve of the disrespectful way in which you refer to His Excellent Excellency the Wise Commander. The priest reproached the girl's choice of words, but his tone made it clear that he was doing it out of no more than mere formality. This Mercurius was re clearly rather unpopular, but at the same time it did not seem as if they were making light of him. Quite the opposite, in fact, they spoke of him with disgust, with even a hint of fear. This was a man to be so despised that even his comrades shunned his very existence. Tomoare. In any case, His Excellency the Vice Commander should have dispatched his agent already. In accordance with the Covenant, your first task will be tracking him down. I'm sure you will have no difficulty with this. What about Leon? Isn't she going to help? というかこの件に関しては彼女に一任していますまあ新兵に経験を積ませるという意味で顔を立ててやってください Rather, I have entrusted her with full, full dominion over this matter Please try to ensure that she maintains face Think of it as helping a new recruit to gain experience on the battlefield. Well, let's see how this all works out in the next part. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!